British steel has been the heartbeat of Scunthorpe for 160 years, creating employment for the local community. But times have changed. Now its blast furnaces are set to go electric to make steel production here greener by recycling scrap steel. And that could cost 2,000 people their jobs, as well as leaving the UK without the ability to produce its own virgin steel, with ministers pushing for reassurances if the government is to finance the scheme. If we're going to give hundreds of millions of pounds of taxpayers' money to British Steel, we have to ensure that we protect steel jobs and that we retain a blast furnace steel-making capability in Scumball. We can't do anything without steel as a nation. Nobody can. If thousands of jobs are lost at the plant in Scunthorpe, this will have a huge knock-on effect to the local economy, which relies on trade from steel workers. Businesses like Beck Bakery, who sell the majority of food to staff from the plant. Most of our trade is from oh, the workers. Yeah, from workmen, Either yeah. the, the British Steel or the contractors, you know, that work on British Steel. I'd say 90% of it is. People here have faced years of uncertainty around the steelworks. They're used to cuts. But this feels different. The blast furnaces are the steelworks. We make the best steel in the world. We always have them, tyre cord, rail and everything. Um, it's a steel industry. I don't know how you can go green with a steel industry. It's come for, it'll be like a museum. It'll be no good at all. It's been British steel and it's been here donkey's years. You know, and it's, we're down to the last one. We're down to the last steel works here. And that's, that'll be the end of it then. It's inevitable the steelworks have got to move forward and it's progress and that, that unfortunately, sadly for jobs, that's what's happening. British Steel, along with the council, have also announced plans for an advanced manufacturing park on part of the steelworks site, which could create thousands of green jobs, such as in hydrogen. It seems a little bit callous to think that you'll try and redesign new jobs and all at the same time as other people are going to have to change theirs, but we've got to have a solid future for kids in this area to want to stay in this area. We want better paid jobs and high engineering jobs, you know, that sort of stuff, and that's what we want for the future for local people. British Steel's proposals will be reviewed by an external specialist on behalf of trade unions. If plans go ahead, the blast furnaces will remain operational until electric arc furnace installation from late 2025. Anna Riley, GB News, Scunthorpe.